thousand yard seasons in your career. Um, can you just highlight, I guess, the significance of that to to a running back, what it means to him, and I guess how happy are you, I guess, that, that Jamal is on the cusp of, of hitting that for the first time in his career? Yeah, it means a lot. Um, not just to the running back, to the team, to the offense, uh, just to hit that milestone. I mean, you work hard. You work hard. And I remember uh, John Runyon, some of those guys, Trey Thomas, some of those guys would come to me and say, hey, man, they would keep up, keep up with how many yards I need more than me. So, hey, you need 12 yards. You need 15 yards, man. We're going to get it on this play or we get it on that play. So they were more excited about it than I was. Um, and it's huge for Jamal. It's, it's big. Uh, being this is his first, and, you know, I'm happy for him. This kid's been working his butt off, man, since he's been here in the shows. So one one touchdown short of Barry Sanders' franchise record. I mean, now that's big. That's, yeah, that's the same. thousand yards is big. This is – Yeah, that's huge. And that's so huge. Like, how, how much do you want to see him get that for him? Oh, no doubt. We all do. Everybody in the building want to see him uh, go out there and do it. And I'll tell you what, he's going to have many chances. Oh man, it's them. It's all them. And most running backs will tell you that. You know, they uh, they paved the way for us. Um, and it's one of the things, especially in our room. I say, all right, these guys that get you four, you got to go get another four. Um, and it's to set that bar high. And you know, they buy into it, and they know how hard the hogs work. And uh, they go over there and they tell them, thank you. You see them during the game, going to talk to them. You see Swift, Jamal, JJ and those guys walk down to the other side of the bench. And they're talking to them about maybe a read they missed or maybe something that it can help each other on on how this guy is playing. And it's just good to see that interaction. So that, that part of it is carried on in the building and on the field. All credit go to these players, man. All the credit. These guys bought in um, from day one. Uh, they knew that the task it was a tall task just to get out there and kind of we put the pressure on them, put a lot of pressure on them, and they knew how hard we were going to be on them. Um, we demand a lot. And I tell you, man, they showed up every day. Uh, some days were, of course, better than others. And we all know about this league. This is a violent league, man. Violent, violent league, and these guys go out there and put their bodies on the line. But every day they came to practice, and every day they came to work. Emotional week for this team in this league between the uh, Demar Hamlin injury and the, the, the anticipation for what you guys have ahead. How, how have you personally just kind of dealt with the emotional waves of, of this week as you, you know, prep for this game? Yeah, tough week, definitely. Um, our thoughts, our prayers goes out to the family and, of course, Hamlin. And, I mean, just being, just sitting in that seat and just remember some of the hard licks I took, um, none of those compared to what he's been through, of course. And I think the most important thing is just to talk about it with our guys. And that's what we did. You know, had a conversation about it, talk about it, and kind of get them a chance to uh, talk, get it out their chest, you know, anything they want to share. And those guys, man, I mean, this is a good group. This is a good group. And, you know, of course, their heart goes out to the Buffalo family, the fans, everybody over there, and all the things that were done to kind of make this situation as comfortable as possible. And, I mean, once again, I heard that he was talking. Yeah, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yesterday, just he had been on the field when, when Reggie Brown was uh, mm. injured in, in 97. Did you experience anything like that where you had a teammate or an opponent that, that suffered a severe injury? Yeah, well, you know, being in those shoes on the other side or a teammate of yours, anytime anybody goes down, you don't know. You know, especially when the doctors come out, the trainers come out, um, you have people kind of standing over them. And, you know, of course, as a player, when you don't see them pop up as quickly as you want them to pop up, you start thinking, all right, man, what's wrong? What happened? So it's been a couple injuries like that. Um, of course, nothing as serious as this. Um, but you have guys who, you know, of course, tear their knee, um, neck injuries and things of that sort. But um, 
Like I said, nothing compares to this.